what worked for United? Let's start with the City man first. I want to hear you. Um, I think uh, we we all knew how City how United was were going to set up against City, especially in such a final. They're going to sit back, then hit us on the counter, and that's what they did. And just they were able to man mark our, our most creative players, and they were able to uh, make us uncomfortable. We all know that Pep likes to control a game and once you make the game incontrollable for for city it becomes a bit kind of tricky and even and then uh for city in for for the defenders we are really kind of weak when we face uh overhead balls especially you could see uh our center backs were kind of really uncomfortable with such kind of pressure especially with the, the pace that united have and given the fact that united have um someone who can bring the ball to where to wherever point of the pitch that you want someone like fernandez he he did a really really good job to open up city at the back line and <clears throat> i just thought the tactics were a bit off for pep because we were really getting the ball in the in the at the back in the middle of the park but in the final third of the pitch we were nowhere to be seen we were just we were just trying to do something that's not really there Instead of maybe trying to whip the ball for for Erling Haaland, who was almost kind of frustrated throughout, throughout the game, it, it just didn't work for us. Something was just off in the in our attacking third, and even our star player in Phil Ford in this season, he was lost. He was nowhere to be seen. I think the, I think the the team that wanted it more won it, and that's what Manchester United have all been about over the years. They've been playing for each other. Uh, the old, the Manchester United of old, um, they've been playing for each other. They fight for for one another. They are at it the right, with the right attitude. And yesterday you could see it. They really wanted it. They re they were really defending as a unit. And uh, it was back to basics. When you get the ball, you have the your outlets uh, in Rashford and and uh, Ganacho. And I think playing Ganacho on the right was uh, was the trick mm. because. If you look at Manchester United in the previous weeks and games, that right hand side mm. has been their weak link. Mm. They're not, they could, they're not, they were not getting enough from the right side. Anthony has just not been the, the right signing. And Ganacho, he made it work for them on that day. Go so, forward yeah. as quickly as you can, punish the opponent. And that's what they did. Yeah, I think yeah, what helped as well is having uh, Lutaro Martinez back and maybe again him pairing up with Veran. Or Lisandro. Lisa, yeah, Lisandro Martinez. Mm. I think him and Veran was solid. That one that one helped because they haven't played together or due to injuries this season, they have always had an issue with their defense. So I think having him on, having him back, I think it helped. Both of them, it really, really helped. They were solid in the back. Again, the, bo the, the young kids turned up. That is Ganacho Maino. I thought they were brilliant. I think they really, really turned up. And some that style of football that we've, we've always been saying uh, for Manchester United, counter-attacking. Yeah. As long as they have the pace, they are always going to be to be a problem. City, even this season, even last season, there's just an issue with City dealing with the uh, pace yeah. for their centre-backs. It's they're always susceptible for, to, 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 to counter-attacks. And that is just what they, what they did. They just got the ball... Made, made those overhead as you said the overhead uh, passes yeah they made the center backs the defense very very uncomfortable and with that quick pace and just precision they just took their chances and they just decided to for the fa cup it just shown manchester united for this the tournament football where you play you play and you move on one game one game one game this style of football has worked but in the Premier League, generally, they have not been able to sustain it the whole season. I think that's why that's why they have struggled. But then again, City were just were off. They were so off. I think maybe they were well, celebrate Sana Ilkua bad a bit of hangover ish. Mm. They just they just couldn't cope. Um, yes, City were off color, but I think United. When he's got all his players mm. and he can play, he can sit back and just be compact, yeah. it works. Yeah. His biggest result when he first joined United was the win over Liverpool yeah. mm. at Old Trafford. Mm. 
and all they did was be compact, 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 and then just and hit then them on the brake and find a way. And I thought that's what they did. City didn't help themselves. City yesterday were had a mistake in them, you could tell. Mm-hmm. And then just United were just able to be compact, compact, compact. Of course, a few things go their way. Some of the chances missed in the second half, you'd be like, hmm. But I thought United just had maybe wanted it more, maybe had more desire, may, and you've got to give props where it is. Yeah. The first yeah, yeah. goal, the fact that Ganacho just chases a lost cause, because yeah. it's a lost mm. cause, and he mm. just chases it, and then Vadiol assumes the keeper is there, the yes. keeper assumes Vadiol, and... Yeah. But, guys, the pass for the second the, pass, exactly. it's got to be one yeah. of the passes of the season. Yeah, it oh. has to be. You, the, how he thought of it, because even Martin Tyler, in, he says a miss kick. Yeah. Yes, in yes, comment, yes. he says a miss kick, and you had to watch it again to think, oh, is wow. Such awareness, yeah. yes. their awareness was incredible, and I thought it was, it's one of the passes of the season. Like, if you even think those passes of this, it's one of them. If you had even mm-hmm. speak the top five passes of the season, it's mm. definitely in the, those top five passes of the season. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's right up there with the KDB pass to Oscar Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Passes, oh. pass. the, was this pass on Newcastle? Was it Newcastle? It was Newcastle, Newcastle, yes. Newcastle, yeah. Yeah. The Newcastle, chip yeah. and the yeah. run, like it, you, you know, you're like. How did he see that? Yeah. But United just looked like they wanted it. It helps that they have their defenders back, some yeah. of them. Mm-hmm. And you just, you like, because I didn't give them a chance. Oh, I did. did. Oh, I was oh, like, did. they have no <laughs> chance of winning. You know, the, the thing is this. Pepper spoiled us really, really badly for, for us City fans. We, we, the fact that we always win trophies almost every single season, every season, and we're always just there smiling. And this feeling, Pepper's been taking us to exponential levels throughout the years and the fact the fact that we lost yesterday brought me back to a this thing is a competition you can't expect everything <laughs> yeah, yeah, you win, no, you can't win it's all. 